Welcome back to the land of spiders and nightmares. In Uzumaki episode 3, things spiraled even further out of control. Quite literally. If you thought the last episode was weird, wait till you hear what goes down in the hospital this time. Let's dive into the madness. <laughs> The episode opens with Kiri suddenly in the hospital. No explanation about what happened after that lighthouse disaster from the previous episode. Just Kiri chilling in a hospital bed. Thanks for keeping us in the dark, I guess. So, Kiri is sharing a room with her pregnant cousin Keiko. And soon things get really creepy. There's a mosquito outbreak in the village and all these pregnant women start swarming into the hospital. Like seriously, there are tons of them. And at night, these women go full vampire mode. They are sneaking into patients' room and using drills to suck people's blood. Guess they didn't get the memo that mosquitoes aren't that contagious. Kiri, our girl, sees it all and tries to stop one of them. But she gets attacked for her troubles. Good thing mosquito spray still works in this nightmare world. One spray and the vampire moms scurry away. But of course, when she tells the hospital staff, nobody believes her. Because why would they? I mean, clearly, a bunch of pregnant women going on nightly blood sucking rampage is perfectly normal. Why believe Kiri, right? Anyway, after a few days, the babies of these women are born and they are all placed in the same room. Kiri is not having a good time though. She is forced to eat those weird mushrooms that taste like blood. And guess what? The newborn starts growing mushrooms from their bellies. If you thought this couldn't get any weirder, buckle up. Kiri tries to make sense of it all, but then comes the real horror. Her cousin Keiko gives birth and the doctor reveals that these babies keep regrowing their placenta as mushrooms. Yep, it's placenta and fungus horror now. Keiko's stitched up belly is a dead giveaway that the doctor's been doing something very sketchy. He even tries to get Kiri to offer her blood to Keiko. But before things get worse, Keiko flips the script and starts training the doctor instead. After that, Kiri gets out of there real quick because that hospital, it's a nightmare zone. Oh, and Shuichi's mom, yeah, she didn't make it either. Looks like everyone's family is spiraling into madness. But it doesn't stop here, Kiri comes home to find her dad obsessed with spirals, just like Shuichi's father. He's crafting knives and forks with spiral patterns and Shuichi who's dropping by more often now, is seriously creeped out. Then we get to the next crazy part. There's a storm that forces everyone to take refuge in broken hearts. And things get even more disturbing. Kiri and her family find themselves with a neighbor who starts peeping on them through holes in the walls. Super creepy, right? But it doesn't stop here. Soon, another person starts stalking Kiri. And guess what? He's also cursed by the spiral. This guy turns into a straight up monster. But luckily, the wind blows him away before he can get to Kiri. And for the grand finale, Yamaguchi, the creepy jack-in-the-box guy, literally jumps out of his grave to try to attack Kiri again. Yeah, because that's the ending we needed. And that's episode 3 of Uzumaki. We've got mosquito vampire moms, mushroom babies, creepy neighbors, and a zombie jack-in-the-box. This show keeps finding new ways to spiral into chaos. Stick around for the next episode where I'm sure things will get even more insane. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and avoid hospital in the cursed town. They are not safe at all.